Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about a very sensitive subject that's going to hurt some people's feelings and fantasies, but we're gonna cover it anyway. Buckle up. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you guys wanna help support the channel, share the videos. Today we are talking about the pinnacle subject of preparedness, the bug out. The bug out, guys, where you have to get out of Dodge, the ultimate test of preparedness. Now I have a very different outlook on the concept of bug out than a lot of people do. I think it comes from my lifestyle of living off grid. It comes from my lifestyle of homesteading, of actively trying to be self-reliant, and truly understanding how much reliance on the grid with a family you really need when actively living that lifestyle. I don't live it part-time, I live it full-time. Bug out, guys, getting out, grabbing your stuff, and leave it. Now, bug out is a very generalized term, but it basically means leaving the situation you're in and going to a new one, which is great, except I run into a lot of people who seem to think that they're going to throw a backpack on their back and go survive in the woods. That's just, that's just not reality. The reality of someone that lives in the city, has their everyday average nine to five job, is going to go out into the woods and then thrive when they A, never practice it, or B, only practice it on weekends sometimes when the weather's nice, is just unrealistic in my book. And I think a lot of preppers, I think a lot of guys who make videos on YouTube talking about preparedness will lead people down the wrong path because bug out is such a cool subject. It's romantic and it's retarded. But bug out is a hot topic because it's easy to sell gear. It's easy to sell the idea. And there's literally a market behind it, guys. Survival, preparedness, prepping, all of that stuff is a thriving industry right now because of the uncertainty of our, of our country, of our nation, of the world currently. Anytime something crazy happens, like a war, and there's global tension, and there's famine on the horizon, and there's issues with shipping, and gas prices are skyrocketing. It is very easy to get on here and say that the sky is falling. And it might be, but it might not be. But bug out is one of those things you can sell bags, you can sell gear, you can sell ideas, all of it. And I'm not saying that they're wrong because I am pro preparedness, but I'm telling you that if you do not go out and practice the skills that you need to survive in a bug out situation, you are only going to go out there and slowly die. Now, depending where you are regionally, sometimes it's hard to find water where you're at. In the state of Idaho, it seems like you can go up and over any ridge and find a little pocket of water somewhere. But Idaho is a very rugged and harsh country. We have weather that will kill you. We have animals that will kill you. We have terrain that will kill you. And it happens every year to people during hunting season, uh, during the winter sports season, people getting lost, people breaking down in the back country, people trying to go onto our lakes and our rivers and they wind up getting the best of them because it is truly dangerous and rugged country. So preparedness is optimal, but having those skills and not thinking that you're in a petting zoo is the, is the focus of my message. If you're planning on bugging out, you need to have a plan. You need to practice those skills. Where are you gonna go? Why are you leaving? If you're leaving your place in town, let's say your apartment in town, 
We could use the Ukraine as an example. War is inbound and you have to leave town. Where are you gonna go? These things should all be predetermined. A large amount of the people who push bug out in preparedness don't necessarily talk about pre-planning. You are not just bugging out, you're going somewhere. That somewhere should have supplies. That somewhere would hopefully already have infrastructure. Water, shelter, food. If your idea is to just bug out into the wasteland, I think that's a terrible idea for many people who, who watch too many movies, play too many video games. They are too in, they are too in the love with the romantic notion of bugging out and they are completely oblivious to what it actually takes to do well in the wild. Now I get this one a lot guys and this is a big one so pay attention. And if you are in my situation where you own a farm out, out in the country, you own a, a rural location you're, you're gonna get this a lot. I hear people say all the time, well, if the poop hits the fan, I'm just coming to your place. Guys, this is, that that's not a plan. Telling someone that you're gonna show up to their place because they took the, the route of preparedness because they live a lifestyle more prepared than you is not a plan. It is again a disaster. A recipe for disaster I know people in my situation who will turn you away I know people in my situation who are, are not shy about saying they'll turn you away at gunpoint now keep that in mind if you have the idea that you're just gonna go down to your buddy's house that you don't you know you, you don't ever talk to you, you you grew up with him but you know he's got this farm down the road if you think you're gonna show up there with your family and he's gonna take you in with open arms, you may be gravely mistaken. So on both sides of that coin, guys, I have met people, I have met people that have farms and rural property, and it seems like they all have the same experience I do. People who don't seem to take prepping serious just kind of throw it out there like, oh man, I'm coming to your place. Hey, anything happens, I'm just gonna come to your place. With what? Your ba a backpack? A truck with some stuff in it where are you gonna stay what are you gonna eat you cannot be that burden on other people don't expect to be that burden on other people you're gonna have a harsh reality slap you across the face in that moment now I, I guarantee you there's people who will take people in but they can only take you in as long as they have the ability to feed you to put you up or to put you to use, which would be a lack of preparedness on their side as well. They need to be prepared to take people in. You should be prepared to show up to someone's place, which means it takes forethought, guys. It takes foreplanning. If you wanted to bug out to someone else's place, you should be talking to that person right now. You should be setting up that infrastructure. You should be making that plan, and you should find out what it is that landowner is gonna want from you you should make it very clear what it is you're gonna need from that landowner. All of this needs to be talked about beforehand. If you have a whole garage full of stuff that you plan on bugging out with, you're assuming you can get it in one load or in time, which means you're lacking in the planning and the forethought of the fact that you may only get a moment's notice, a short amount of time, one trip, maybe a truck, maybe a truck and a trailer, and now you have to fit an entire garage full of gear, years of cool stuff you've been collecting, into a truck and trailer in one trip. I know preppers with basements full of stuff, garage, full of stuff, gear. You're not getting it in one trip. You're not getting all your cool stuff 
half of you guys couldn't fit all your guns in one truck and trailer load let alone all of the stuff that's going to keep your families alive as well so you guys need a little bit of reality when it comes to the idea of bugging out also when it comes to bugging out don't forget about your family and I don't mean don't leave them I mean when you're buying all your cool prepping gear when you're buying all your stuff you need to be buying it for your family as well if you got kids they need to have boots they need to have rain gear they need to have all the stuff that they need to have to be able to go out into a situation that you're planning on taking them out into and if your kids are like my kids, it means a rotation of supplies because those kids grow constantly. If you put a pair of boots away for them and two years later they're wearing them, that's probably going to cause some issues. Or if you have clothing that doesn't fit. Keep this stuff in mind. Guys, that is it for this video. There is, there is a ton to talk about when it comes to bug out. I personally think that bug out is a stupid idea that's going to get people hurt. I think that a lot of people don't understand the, t the true concept, the true reality of what it means to go live out in the woods, to bug out into the forest. For one, it's going to be crowded because everyone else who didn't have a plan is planning on heading out into the woods to shoot the same deer you're planning on shooting. It'll be very crowded and the game will get obliterated. So there'll be very little to eat as well. But I know this is gonna be a hot topic, guys, so I will respond to comments below. And if it is a good comment, then I will take it and turn it into a video if need be, and we can talk about it as well, because I know that my opinion on bug out is not popular. I've pissed people off with it in the past. I've, I've broken hearts with it in the past. But as someone that lives off grid, as someone who tries to be as prepared as possible, as someone who homesteads and tries to be self-reliant, I am only trying to share with you the absolute reality based off my lifestyle with the family. That is it guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you are new. Put a comment below if you disagree with me or you wanna talk about something else that is related to bug out. Thanks a lot guys and we will catch you on the next one.